she does not deserve this at all. Like, eh, maybe she does. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mi, and today is BTV Tuesday. BTV is a series on my channel where I watch an episode of a TV show while I do my makeup. And as you guys know, November is As Told by Ginger Month, so today we're going to be going over About Face. Thank you to... Hold on, let me see if I can see who requested the episode. Thank you to Waylon Jennings for suggesting this episode because this is a really, really good one. And this one actually has a really, really good message to it. And we haven't, I've just been kind of like crapping on Dodie since this, uh, since I started making us so by Ginger episodes. But like this one actually has a really, really good message behind it. So I wanted to talk about this one and thank you so much for your suggestion. So this week we're talking about About Face season three, episode six. Some places it might be listed as episode four just because the series, the series, the season premiere for season three was the three part special. So some places have it listed as one long episode and some places have it listed as three episodes. I watched it on Paramount Plus. That's where you could watch As Told by Ginger with amazing quality, by the way. And on Paramount Plus, they have it listed as season three, episode six. So that's just how I'm going to reference it. Um, so the episode begins and Dodie gets home from school and she hears her mother on the phone with the principal and of course you know like why would her mom be on the phone with the principal like she's just gonna assume the worst because that's what I did when I was in school and my mom okay well my mom never talks to the principal but if I would if I was in middle school and I heard my mom on the phone with the principal I would assume something bad is happening especially because like I wasn't one of those kids in middle school that like was always in trouble. I was very much like a mind your business, go about your business kind of kid. So if my mom was getting a call from the principal, like I'd be kind of scared too. So the call ends and Dodie's like, oh God, like what happened? Principal, like you're talking to Principal Milty, like what happened, what did I do? And she's like, oh nothing. I was just, you know, finalizing the details with him about starting my new job at Lucky Junior High teaching home economics. And of course, Dodie is absolutely mortified. So she goes over to Ginger's house and Macy's already there. And I guess they're just having their like after school hangout session like they usually do sometimes. So, in Ginger's house, Dodie is like sitting on the floor of Ginger's room and she's just kind of like paralyzed with this feeling that she has. Like she's unable to even speak about it. So Ginger and Macy are trying to like coax it out of her. Like, girl, what happened? Like, what got you so shook? And she's like, my mom teaching at Lucky Junior High. And they're like, well, you know, it might not be that bad and she's like you know well what's the worst that can happen and she's like okay the worst that can happen is that my mom is a total witch because she's not fit to be around children and instead of being that like nobody loser that no one knows who i am i'm now the daughter of the total witch that teaches home economics and macy's like is that that bad like is that even that bad? And she's like, that's insanely bad. Because as we all know, Dodie's a social climber. Like she wants to be with the popular girls and she'll do anything to be with the popular girls as we've seen in previous episodes. So she's like, this is going to be the worst thing for my reputation. Like, of course, this is horrible. What do you mean? It's not that bad. Like, and honestly, I was kind of confused. I mean, because Ginger was like, more, we talked about it in the first That's Told by Ginger episode that I did. Like, Ginger was absolutely mortified when her mom was going to be there for one day to check lice. Um, so I feel like Ginger should have been able to kind of relate to the feeling that Dodie was having in this moment. They're just trying to prepare her for, you know, the worst possible option of what can happen to her at school. So the next day is her mom's first day as the home economics teacher. And as Dodie's coming downstairs to get her lunch for school, there's... Um, her bag of lunch packed, her brother's bag of lunch packed, and then a brown bag that says Josie on it. And she's like, who's Josie? And her mom comes downstairs and she's like, all the kids in my middle school used to call me Josie. And she is dressed like she has these cornrows in her hair. She has on like a mini skirt and like a crop top. And she's dressed crazy, like crazily inappropriate for a t-shirt and also for just like 
a woman her age. <laughs> is that like still like not a good thing to say? I don't know. I just feel like, girl, you're about to teach. Like, ugh. And as she's leaving the house, as they're walking out together, her mother makes a remark about it's never too late, implying that, you know, when she was in middle school, like she wasn't very cool. It's never too late to be what you had wanted to be. I guess like she's implying that like she gets a second chance at being popular now that she's going to be back into a middle school setting. So Ginger, Dodie, and Macy are at school and they walk past the bathroom and there's like this horrific sound coming from the bathroom and they're like, oh my god, like what's dying in there? Like what is that sound? And Dodie's like, I know that sound. That's my mom laughing. So they pull up into the bathroom and first of all, why is, why is Dodie's mom in the student that, like no one saw her walk in there no one said hey homie the teacher's lounge is available for use maybe there's like a lot of odd boundaries being crossed in this episode like minus the one where you know Dodie and her mother overstepping and all of that but like um why didn't no one call her out for just being in like a student bathroom so she's like laughing having this anecdote and she like even brings up the fact that she thinks Ian Richton is cute, a full 12 year old. And um, she's just like telling this like story and all of the popular girls in the bathroom are just kind of looking at her like, Shoddy, we don't care. So as Ginger, Dodie and Macy walk into the bathroom to like investigate the sound and like see why her mom is in there and what she's laughing about, Dodie's just like, hey, what's going on in here? Like what happened? And her mom is like, you had to be there and like just kind of dismisses her like kind of shoves her off to the side and that like really hurts Dodie's feelings because like that's your mom and you just snubbed her to go be with the popular girls and her mom I feel like her mom has a sense of like how much she actually wants to be popular and it's just like it's really hurtful and honestly I feel super bad for Dodie in this moment because like I know you're like not the best person but like this like you, you didn't deserve for this to happen to you like in front of all the popular girls like your mom and like the popular girls are standing there listening to Josie talking and um why am I calling her Josie her name is Joanne listening to Dodie's mom talking and they're just kind of looking at her like like they're entertaining the fact that she's speaking to them and that she's there but they're clearly like they clearly don't want her around and like it hurts Dodie's feelings to like be snubbed by her mother because she genuinely thinks like her mom is getting along with these girls like her mom is actually like accomplishing being popular and that's all Jodi ever really wants is to just be popular and be like with the in crowd and her mom was there for like what two hours and just like did it like that's I don't know like that's just not right at all like I really do feel bad for Dodie right here so when Ginger and Macy are like wow Jody, like that's pretty messed up like I'm really sorry that that just happened to you like she's just snubbed you in front of everyone like that sucks and I don't know Dodi kind of just takes it as like my mom is popular like maybe she was popular when she was my age like I have a lot to learn from her because she like she looks like she's getting along with them fairly easily like she might be like the role like a role model in the worst way and she, Dodie's just like oblivious to the fact that like those popular girls don't want her there. Like they're not, like she can't see that, like yeah, she's hanging out with them. She's hanging around them, but like, it's not the same. Like yeah, being there is not the same as being included there. Being there is not the same as being like, it's like having, like you know when you're in a group of people and they just clearly don't want you there like she can't see past the fact that like they are together but they're not together as a unit they're just interacting together like this is at lunchtime and Josie is sitting at the popular table with the popular girls and she's like telling some anecdote about um 
the grocery store and like not being able to use a coupon but then like she ended up being able to use the coupon because trash bags are expensive and Dodie is like mesmerized by how like talented her mom is at fitting in but like every literally everyone else can see that the popular girls don't want her around they just are I guess entertaining the fact that she's there because they I guess they don't want to be outright mean to her or maybe they're like secretly laughing at her or something like it's never explicitly said why or like even implied why the popular girls don't just kick um Dodie's mom out from their group but like she, Dodie can only see that she's there not like the dynamics of what's happening there and she just takes that as like I have a lot to learn about popularity from my mother because look at how good she is at being popular so it's the end of the school day and Dodie is Dodie Miranda oh my god why can't I speak Dodie Ginger and Macy are outside of the school and um, her mom walks past she's like mom where are you going like you're not gonna give me a ride home and she's like no i'm going to go to miranda's clarinet lesson and then after that i have to help mipsy deep condition her hair so she tells Dodie, like tell your dad to get dinner started because i'm hanging out and once again like Dodie gets her feelings hurt because it's not even like it was previously like she it's not even that she's you know just like embarrassed generally embarrassing her it's like now you're prioritizing being popular over being my mom like i need to ride home from school like yeah i can take the bus but why would i if you teach here and you drove here and we could and we're going to the same place like you're prioritizing being popular over being my mother and that is like a huge problem and like i I really feel bad for Dodie in this episode. Like, she does not deserve this at all. Like, nah, maybe she does. <laughs> nah, like, nah, maybe she does. But, like, I don't know. Like, it just, it's really heartbreaking. So, Ginger is doing, she's writing about it in her journal. And she's, like, sort of narrating what's happening. And she's telling, she's writing in her journal that, um, like, no disrespect to to Dodie's mother but she is like a social climbing wannabe and if Dodie doesn't watch herself like that's what she can become she can turn into her mother and honestly I don't think that Dodie can turn into her mother I think that Dodie already is her mother um like yes of course Mrs. Bishop is like a more amplified version of um of what Dodie already does but Dodie is it's not like like Dodie's more than halfway there like the only difference between um Dodie and her mom is that Dodie doesn't force her way into the prop into the popular group that's the only difference like Dodie stepped on her friends to try and be popular we saw it in as of Lice and Friends and of um like literally any up like the last one we did last week like literally any anything like anything like we've seen it before the only difference is that Dodie doesn't force her way into the popular group because when the opportunity comes and it's time to blow someone off or to just treat someone generally crappy in order to get this much further ahead like Dodie would do it like in um of Lice and Friends she did all that and at the end what did she get out of it all she did was like Courtney said her name correctly and that's literally all that she gained from from like b putting on blast everyone in the school that had likes like Dodie is her mother already she's already her mom can I just say this is the first time I feel like on my channel that I've actually done like good makeup <laughs> so Dodie gets home and her dad is preparing dinner because you know her mom is out uh with Miranda and Mipsy and she gets home and she's really upset and she's like dad mom must have been like insanely popular in middle school or something because she's um completely acting like I don't exist like she's snubbing me for the popular girls and like it just doesn't feel good and you know she's got everyone in school calling her Josie like it just doesn't make me feel good and her dad is like let me show you something and he pulls out their middle school yearbook and he goes this is Josie and he points at this picture and it's like the superlative in the yearbook and it says um Miss Popularity and she's like oh my god like she's so beautiful like that's mom and he goes no 
that's Josie McDonald. She was the most popular girl in our school. And then he flips a couple pages and he goes, this is your mom. And it's a picture of a girl who looks ex literally exactly like Dodie in season three when like she takes her hair down and she wears the little bob. Not even in, um, well, yes, but in Of Lice and Friends when she takes her hair down and wears her little bob like that. And the her superlative, like her mom's actual superlative was missed popularity. And um, Hoodsy is there and he goes like, wow, that looks just like you, Dodie. They're talking about, you know, how their mom was in middle school. And she just said, the dad just said like, your mom just wanted to be popular. All she wanted in middle school was to be popular and she wanted to be liked so much that she forgot to like herself. And I'm like, oh my God, Mr. Bishop is preaching. Like, oh my God, like, can you believe I watched this episode as a kid probably their age because I went through a period when I absolutely loved this show like this was my comfort show for a while I believe I watched this as a kid and I was like well her mom is crazy Dodie's crazy I'm not like that but I still like yearned to be popular like I wasn't like a super popular kid in middle school or definitely not in middle school because I was just like kind of quiet I still am kind of quiet I just feel like if I don't have much to say I'm just not gonna speak I'm just not one of those people who are just speaking just to speak but um in high when I got to high school I was the person that like everyone knew who I was and I was like I could talk to everyone but I wasn't like specifically hanging out with the popular people or like in the popular group and when I tell people that they're like um everyone knew you and everyone talked to you like that's popular but it's like I wasn't popular I was just like I was known I was well known like I could bounce from group to group and like interact with them chat with them but I wasn't t specifically tied to one group and I wasn't specifically tied to the popular group in high school but like I remember being Dodie's age Ginger's age like yearning to be like that popular girl and like I was like I was pretty I like to I like to think that I was pretty in middle school because I'm pretty now. I was treated like I was pretty in middle school and high school, which is probably why everyone like talked to me in middle school and high school. Um, just because like middle school and high school is when I started to get into makeup and you know, pr making myself look a certain way. That's probably one of the reasons why people talk to me, but I didn't feel like I was a pretty girl in middle school. Like I thought I was so ugly, like my teeth are huge, like, are huge. My teeth are tiny. I always say I have little baby shark teeth. Um, like I have a dent in my chin. Like I have really, really faint eyebrows. That's why I always do my eyebrows before I come on camera. Like my forehead is big. Like I felt like a gross, awkward kid. In middle school and like that really like really messed with my self-esteem which is why like I didn't talk to people but people talked to me because they didn't see that I wasn't bullied in middle school I think I had one instance where like one kid on the bus tried to bully me and I like my mom was not playing that shit and she was like because I very much remember because it's I have two older sisters and I throughout my childhood I very much remember her saying like my kids not gonna kill themselves over some petty bullshit like there's no fucking way so anytime like any of us had to deal with like mistreatment in school by like teachers or like by other students my mom was shut she shut that shit down immediately um I wasn't bullied or anything like that like the only person bullying me back then was myself and even today like it's not mostly based on the looks up here like it was when I was a kid like I have really bad body issues and that like causes me to like recluse into myself so I understand where Dodie's coming from like wanting to be popular I feel like a lot of little girls or a lot of girls her age really really want that so I really sympathize with her because it's not like I don't know like it's not like TV you know where like everyone is there's the popular girl you know like you just wish it's you like I don't know it's just it's really sad and I feel really bad for Dodie because I know the feeling of like wanting to be that popular girl but 
like she just gets goes about it in the very wrong ways like the way I was I would just like admire from afar and like wish that was me but Dodie is like social climbing and just treating her friends horribly but that desperation like I can relate to I totally understand it like it's very valid all right if the ankle changed at all I'm sorry about that um my tripod sucks <laughs> but Mr. Bishop says something that I think is super important and like it's really really good advice for kids to be hearing if you don't accept yourself now you may never learn to accept yourself and like oh my god that's such a good thing to say and can you believe I heard this and like I didn't internalize it as a kid I was like I, I don't know I was very othering to hear like that's them but I mean you know what I'm saying I may have to censor the corner because there's something in here that I don't want you guys to see well not you guys specifically but there's something in here that I might not show so if there's censorship in like the corner my bad in the next scene Ginger's at home in her room and there's a knock on her door on her bedroom door and all of the popular girls um are into her room and they're like hey ginger and i counted and it was like 11 girls now i know mrs foutley don't play that like 11 girls just pull up to your house and mrs foutley just let them upstairs like lois was never on that energy so what is happening here so the popular girls are in ginger's room and they all just like help themselves to a seat in the room and they start complaining about how you know Josie is all up in their grill and like we know Dodie's your friend so you need to tell your friend to check her mom and Ginger's like that's great and all but listen Dodie thinks that y'all like actually like her mother like she thinks that like her mom is fitting in with you guys and like she's like you guys actually want her around and they're like no 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 that is far from the case which everyone can see except for Dodie and they're basically just like Josie is not cool fly hot none of that and Ginger's like maybe Dodie needs to hear this straight from the horse's mouth because like uh, she just won't see it like she just doesn't see it so they're like we can she's like we can go over to Dodie's house and you can like tell her and at first the girls are like reluctant to go but then they're like okay let's go um they get to Dodie's house and they try to get her attention by throwing rocks at her bedroom window and Dodie looks outside of her bedroom window and she sees the entire popular crew in her front yard and she like rushes to get downstairs that's way too much blush so of course like when she gets down to her front yard she's like what are y'all doing here and Courtney is pretty much just like hey just wanted to let you know like we don't like your mom she's not popular she's not one of us like she is very annoying Trey annoying and she is the not one of the popular girls she's not and Dodie's basically like that's fine my mom doesn't need to be popular and I don't need to be popular either and the girls are just like okay as long as we're as long as it's Gucci like as long as we're clear on what's happening here we don't like your mom then all right so they all turn around and leave and Ginger was like whoa like that was brutal like are you okay she's like am I okay I just stood up to the popular girls like I stood my ground I didn't back down and I wasn't scared I told them what what the deal was you know I don't need to be popular bitch yes you do because your antics persist like this is not the end of this like you're gonna be back on some bullshit next week I promise so Dodie goes upstairs to her mother's bedroom and her mom is like winding down for the night because Ginger came over before bedtime or she, her family was about to have dinner, but it looked like Dodie's family had already had dinner. I'm like dropping stuff all over the place. She goes upstairs and she's like, mom, you're not Josie McDonald. And she's like, how do you know about that? And she just goes, dad showed me the yearbook and you were a loser in middle school and I'm currently a loser in middle school and that's okay. Being popular isn't everything and I don't need to be popular and neither do you. And that's fine. 
And her mom basically just says the same thing that her dad said, was that she's so wrapped up in being liked that she didn't like herself. And that's what's the most important thing in all of this, is that you like yourself and you like who you are. And I guess that's, just, it was a very brief conversation, but the message was that you need to like yourself. And Dodie was like, she was proud. She left her mother's room feeling super proud that she stood up for herself. And of course she like talks to herself outside of her mother's door and she's like, you know, I'm so proud. Like we didn't yell, we didn't fight, we didn't scream. We just had a civil conversation and I aired out what I wanted to say and it feels really, really good. And on the other side of the door, her mom was like, God, Deirdre, shut up. And kind of just like letting us know that like everything's back to normal now and her mom is normal again, I guess. But, um, this episode is, it's really, really, I don't know, like, it's not meant to be super sad, like, the good majority of the season three episodes, but this episode was really, really sad to me, just because, like, I feel like this is a, something, like, yearning to be popular is something that a lot of the target audience can relate to, and I don't know, I feel like I said a lot of my thoughts in the video already, like, during the analysis portion of the video, but, um... Yeah, love yourself and you have to accept yourself and that's it's so much easier said than done but it's like it's it is really important in the long run and I'm trying to get to that place myself which is why I'm gonna continue doing my health and wellness series so that like I can document it and hold myself accountable because I feel like if I document my progress it and I know that people are watching my progress, that I have to continue going, which um, I encourage everyone who's on like a self-improvement journey or anyone who just wants to better themselves for themselves to document it somewhere because documenting it holds you accountable and it really does help um, just continuing to accept yourself and love yourself and do things that is gonna better you in the long run, no matter what it is. Um, so yeah, this episode was a really, really good one, and I did feel super bad for Dodie, but um, chances are next week, oh my god, you see what my lipstick is doing? Chances are next week we're gonna go back to shitting on her, so we only get one week of feeling bad for Dodie, because that's all that I can take. <laughs> and that's probably all you guys want to see, is one only one episode of us feeling bad for Dodie. So um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, thank you guys so much for continuing the growth of my channel um i really appreciate that you guys like what i'm doing here and that you guys are just so actively supporting me so thank you so much um i don't know maybe i'll we can do something special uh, for it i guess i don't know is this the something special is that still by ginger month the something special i don't know but um thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you guys on saturday i know i missed my last saturday upload but that's because i was so wrapped up in the success of my tuesday upload that i completely forgot that i had to upload on saturday and i'm sorry but um i will actually see you guys on saturday <laughs> all right bye